Hello everyone, Chris here with Platinum Reviews. We are back with some more Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. This time around, we're fighting Varam. Varam, however you say his name. And, uh, oh, man, this fight is rough. I actually had a video where I did pretty good and then died at the end. Uh, this video, I kind of get messed up in some part and I barely made it through. But uh, we got the tips and tricks on how to beat this dude. Uh, the first part is very, very, very easy. So I'll kind of explain this, but it's pretty easy and it makes the whole fight seem like it's going to be great until 75%. So when you start the fight, you actually have two of yourself. What? It's so nice. What you're going to be doing is trying to wail on him, do as much damage as possible. A lot of these moves in the first round, he is going to push to the second one. That one, the globe that slows you down, whatever it is, slide out of it, try and get him to 75% health. If your other you gets damaged, he's pretty much useless for a chunk of time. Just do as much damage as possible and he can't really attack you. It's pretty self-explanatory the first part but uh yeah <laughs> we'll touch base on more of the attacks in the second part right here uh, uh, so he does a lot of low end attacks a lot of attacks that hit the ground so try to stay mobile and try to stay in the ear that move right there he's going to do quite a bit do not stand under those things they do a lot of damage just dodge to the side dodge to the side and then do a jump uh it's a lot of the same things for the whole fight. There is no parried attacks. Uh, this thing right here, you're going to want to dodge to the side and get to an opening uh, because that thing does a lot of damage to you. It's not fun at all. So see, he attacks, dodge it, dodge it, and you have to dodge it really good because if you saw right there, I got a lot of damage to myself on that attack. It sucks. So when he gets down to about 25%, I think he goes to, into like a supercharge mode or whatever. So we'll get to that point in a second. He does a few different moves where he kind of slows down time and rewinds it. He does another one where he does that like birdcage thing, like he's Doflamingo. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's kind of a pain in the ass. I had a lot of issues with this fight. I think I fought him maybe 20 times. So uh, yeah, good luck. Um, this one right here, he can either go in the air or in the sky. So you're going to kind of want to gauge what he's going to do. Um, yeah, so see, I got hit here. As you can see, it's going to take down quite a bit of health. Try and stay in the open areas of those because if you touch any of those lines, it's going to wreck you. Uh, that took me down four health bars. So uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, it sucks. Um, anytime you can get behind him and do some damage, definitely do that. He can rewind time. Anytime he rewinds time, you're going to want to dodge immediately because sometimes he'll put himself right next to you and unleash a devastating attack. Uh, he also does these like globes that do like a massive attack. You've seen him kind of pop up a few times. Uh, anytime you do that, try and get away from him. It's a nice thing to try and put a, one of those time warp things on the other end of the map. And that'll actually help you get away from that bird cage move is what I'm going to call it. And it'll help you get away from the, uh, other moves like the little globes of sword attacks that suck. Uh, that one. So yeah, if you had that time warp, you could have just time warped off to the side and not had to worry about it. Uh, this birdcage thing, stay in an area that's open so he does not do a lot of damage. Yeah, so right here I was like, oh cool, we're good. And then he hits me again uh, and he just starts wrecking me again. So I barely made it out of this. Uh, this globe, try and stay on the outside edge of it. It's, oh man, I was worried right here. I thought I was dead. I was like, oh my gosh, not again. But see how that time warp just helped it actually save me in the fight and made it to where I actually beat him. So, um, and I got lucky on that one being a little bit outside. Uh, so good luck with the fight. If you guys have any questions about it, let me know in the comments down below. It's a rough one. So uh, thank you so much for watching. This is Chris with Plant Reviews. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next video. As always, keep getting those trophies.